In this video, I'm going to present about temperature of ocean water, significance of ocean temperature because it's a physical attribute. This also affects the other physical attributes of ocean water like density, salinity, etc. And it affects the marine life like uh, phytoplankton and zooplankton and it also affects the climate of coastal land and plants and other animals which is where which lives near the coastal region and variation in ocean temperature affects the kinetic energy of the ocean water. Layers of ocean. So with respect to temperature, we can classify them into three types, surface layer, thermocline layer and deep water layer. Surface layer is the first layer or a top layer of warm oceanic water. The thickness is around 500 meters. So the temperature ranges between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. This layer is seen in the tropics throughout the year, whereas in mid latitude region, it can be seen only in summer season. Thermocline layer it is a second layer. It is a vertical zone of oceanic water below the first layer. So here the temperature falls at a rapid rate with increasing depth. So it is also called as a transition zone. Deep water layer, which is also called third layer, which extends up to the ocean bottom and it is very cold here. But whereas the polar region has cold water from top to bottom, so we can't, um, it, we can't just classify them into different layers in polar region. Here we can see that uh, the falling temperature is somewhat constant. Whereas with increasing depth, where in thermocline layer, the falling temperature is very rapid. So because the temperature falls very rapidly, whereas here it is somewhat constant in deep water layer because uh, the water is cold here. Sources of heat. Major source are the insulation from the sun. Sun is a ra the radiant energy of the sun received at the ocean surface in the form of electromagnetic short waves. So this depends upon the angle of sun rays. Suppose it is falling vertically, so this is the sun, this is if it falls vertically and then the energy will be received more. If it falls vertically, energy received will be more. If it is falling slanting, if the rays are slanting, it has to uh, travel, the sun rays has to travel a longer distance, so the energy received will be less. Length of the day, if the length of the day is more, the energy received will be also more. And distance of the earth from the sun, if it is near, if it is near, the energy received will be more. If it is far, energy received will be less effects of atmosphere atmosphere also affects it because the the uh, atmosphere absorbs some amount of energy and it also it reflects back a lot of energy so because of that the absorption of energy on the water surface also uh, gets affected minor source some energy produced at the bottom of the uh, ocean due to compression of sea water but this is as insignificant thing because it's very less amount Next one is diurnal range of temperature. The diurnal range of temperature is the difference of maximum and minimum temperature of a day which is, which is measured in 24 hours. At the surface it is very insignificant because it is just 1 degree Celsius. In lower latitudes it's, the daily range would be around 0.3 degrees Celsius. In higher latitudes it is between 0.2 to 0.3 degrees Celsius. Whereas minimum or maximum temperature is measured at 2 pm in the, in the afternoon and minimum temperature is temperature temperature is measured at 5 a.m. in the morning. Diurnal range depends on the conditions of the sky. If the uh, sky is uh, cloudy, then the temperature can't penetrate the clouds much. Um, so that also affects the uh, diurnal range and stability. Uh, if the air is stable, so temperature loss of the ocean surface is less. If it is unstable, uh, the temperature loss, uh, the heat loss by the ocean water, the wa oceanic water losses a lot of heat. Yeah, to, to, uh, to the blowing wind and stratification of water because of the density variation also we can stratify them into different uh, different layers annual range of temperature in the northern hemisphere so maximum annual temperature is measure, measured in august in minimum annual temperature is measured in february annual range of temperature is 10 degree fahrenheit but it varies regionally the causes are various variation in insulation because in the high low latitude region, the insulation is received is more, whereas in high latitudes or polar regions, insulation is it is less. Nature of seas, if it's a open seas, because the ocean currents are flowing, and if it is a large sea, the currents are flowing in a different direction from equator to polar region, and from polar region to equator region, the cold currents flow. So this also affects the oceanic temperature. And if it is enclosed sea, because it is enclosed by land region, so here the temperature will be, annual range of temperature will be more. If it is a small sea also, here it is enclosed one and here the annual temperature will be more. Whereas in large seas, because it's a uh, ocean currents are moving continuously, here the temperature, annual temp range of temperature will be less. The prevailing winds, winds which is blowing in a particular direction, so this also, uh, to these winds, uh, a lot of energy is lost uh, from the surface of the 
oceanic water and the location of seas so if it is uh, uh, so depending upon the latitude variation suppose it's in the low latitude the temperature will be high in the higher latitude the temperature will be less so these all these factors also affect the insulation of annual range of temperatures so here in this we can see in the low latitudes it, it has the sun has a lot of energy because the temperature is high in the mid latitudes is lesser than the uh, tropics and in the polar region we can see here the temperature is very less because the water ocean water is less it's very cold here in this region distribution of temperature factors affect, affect distribution of temperatures are first one is latitudes the equator towards the poles the temperature decreases because of the slanting sun rays between 40 degree north and 40 degree south ocean surface temperature is less than the air temperature because in the 40 degree north and between 40 degree north between 40 degree north and 40 degree south this is some 40 here it's a tropic region tropic and subtropic region this is the tropic and subtropic region here the insulation received will be more because the temperature is high here the heat is more when the heat is more heat loss is also more so the law it loses some um, so much heat to the atmosphere because of that the air temperature on uh, is more in this region so because of that here ocean surface temperature is less whereas beyond 40 degree latitude towards the poles ocean surface temperature is more because here the polar region the ocean uh, temp surface temperature is less ocean surface temperature is less because of that the heat loss is lost the winds or to the atmosphere is less so because of that here ocean surface temperature is more and the air temperature is less unequal distribution of land and water in the northern hemisphere land dominates and due to land context surface temperature of the ocean water also is more and isotherms are irregular in these regions so isotherms are uh, uh, lines so isotherms are lines joining up equal uh, temperature in different places Southern Hemisphere water dominates, surface temperature is less, but isotherms are regular and follow latitudes. Here, because the different locations or different location of the Northern Hemisphere, uh, the continent varies in shape, different shape of the oceans, all these factors affect the isotherms. Whereas in Southern, summer, southern Hemisphere, it is more of water, water domination. Because of that, here isotherms are regular and follow latitudes. In enclosed seas, surface temperature is very high and open seas, surface temperature is very less. Red Sea, for example, average temp annual range of temperature is 37.8 degrees Celsius. But at equator, when we see the annual range of temperature is 26.7 degrees Celsius. Though equator reaches less amount of, so, so much of energy, but here, lot of other factors also disturbs the uh, uh, affects the temperature variation so here uh, here in the equator so the temperature is less here whereas in the red sea so it's enclosed sea it has a lot of temperature which is 37.8 degrees celsius so next one is prevailing wind so offshore winds and onshore winds there are two kinds of winds the offshore winds the winds which are blowing from the land towards the ocean and seas so suppose here it's a landmass in here a landmass this is the ocean winds are blowing from the land towards the ocean and sea so from here if the wind is blowing from land it is blowing to the sea then it is called as offshore offshore wind and drive warm surface water away from the coast resulting into upwelling of cold cold bottom water from below so here what happens the cold water which is there below it constant constantly upwells it just comes on, on the top so because of that due to this longitudinal variation in temperature occurs so here temperature longitudinal variation occurs in the temperatures so this is how an offshore wind affects the temperature of whereas onshore wind wind blowing from the sea to land so here this is a sea so from sea to land it is blowing towards the continents so they pile up warm water near the coast and raises the temperature so because of that here here temperature rise will happen whereas here the cold water is constantly coming on the top so here temperature will be dropped here whereas here in this region onshore winds increases temperature offshore winds decreases the temperature
uh, example easterlies in tropics and westerlies in mid latitudes so easterlies flow uh, from eastern eastern east to west it flows so this is the eastern direction this is the western direction they flow in this direction in the tropical region whereas westerlies they flow from west to east they flow so this because uh, location of continent in different regions say in this image we can see that suppose here mid latitudes if it is flowing like this westerlies if it is flowing like this so it affects so it affects in this region suppose easterlies in the tropics it is flowing like this so this affects in different region in different manner so next one is ocean currents so surface temperature of the oceans are controlled by warm and cold currents so, there are two types of ocean currents warm currents and cold currents warm currents raise the temperature of the affected areas whereas cold currents lower down the temperature of the areas example gulf stream raises the temperature near the eastern coast of north america and western coast of europe and labrador cool currents lowers down the temperature near the northeast coast of north america so in this image we can see these red arrow marks are warm currents so these are equatorial current these are warm currents so these are flowing in another direction so here the temperature rises the ocean surface will have more temperature whereas here these are cold currents which is flowing with the, here the temperature will be reduced because of because it's a cold current because of the temperature reduction will be there but but here the temperature rise will be there so here also crozier current we can see the temperature rise will be there oisio current which is a cold current so here it's a it is a cold current the temperature decrease will be there so that's how the warm currents raises the temperature and the cold currents which is moving towards the equator so they reduces the temperature other factors like submarine ridges where submarine ridges constant and upwelling of lava takes place so that affects the ocean temperature local weather conditions like storms cyclones hurricanes fog cloudiness so all these factors affects the temperature and if evaporation is there more if evaporation is more then the temperature loss will be more because of due to evaporation and of cloudiness that also insulation received by the sun will be less and because of that also it affects the temperature of the ocean ocean waters and cyclones storms they just they have the high forceful or high speed high velocity winds um, which is blowing in a particular direction that also uh, carries lot of uh, uh, to these winds the ocean surface uh, lo losses lot of energy to these winds and location and shape of the sea longitudinal variation and latitudinal variation all these factors affects the oceanic temperature next one is horizontal there are two kinds of distribution of temperature in oceans so one is horizontal distribution the other one is vertical distribution now we can see horizontal distribution measured on the surface varies with latitude average surface temperature is around 27.7 degrees celsius the temperature gradually decreases from equator towards the pole so it's, it's uh, because this is horizontal distribution is measured on the surface so temperature from equator from equator insulation is more equator towards the pole the temperature is gradually decrease and the rate of decrease of temperature with increasing latitude is 0.5 degree fahrenheit per latitude it is more pronounced in southern hemisphere and at 20 degree latitude its average temperature temperature is 22 degree celsius 22 degree celsius at 40 degree latitude at 40 degree latitude the average temperature is 14 degree celsius near the poles the average temperature is 0 degree celsius because it's a colder region the horizontal distribution of temperatures are shown in by isothermal lines lines joining places of equal temperature the highest temperature is not recorded at the equator rather it is a bit north of it because in the equatorial region so the constantly evaporation also takes place the ocean surface loses lot of energy to uh, through evaporation so the highest temperature is recorded in the tropical region the average annual temperature of the all the oceans is around 17.2 degrees celsius in the northern hemisphere it is 19.4 degrees celsius in the southern hemisphere it is 16.1 degrees celsius seasonal variations also identified uh, of these surface temperatures occurs at different latitudes so, and in close seas the high surface temperature is in low latitudes in low uh, latitudes the, uh, it has higher surface temperature but in towards the poles the surface temperature is uh, very less 
because when we compare it with the open seas the surface temperature of the enclosed seas will be less in the polar region so here we can see that isothermal lines we can see different seasons so this is uh, indian ocean in the february month of february in the month of august so we can see here there is not much here this is enclosed seas enclosed seas here the it is 25 degree in february even in this region we can see in the august it is around 25 degree celsius so there are not much of variations 25 degree 2050 say same kind of measurement is can be seen uh, the variation is very less horizontal distribution variation is very less in this ocean whereas in this atlantic ocean because the shape is like this because ocean and current is flowing in different regions so we, we can see a lot of variation here say here it is 0 degree celsius at 5 degree celsius in august in february it is 0 degree celsius because of the winter months so here temperature is less whereas in summer months it's 5 degree celsius you can see here it is summer it is 15 degree celsius where it is here 10 degree celsius here it is 15 degree celsius here it is 20 degree celsius so that kind of variations can be seen the horizontal distribution temperature variation can be seen in different oceans heat loss the ocean surface gives off heat to the atmosphere so the air above the ocean surface is cooler than the oceanic surface temperature this phenomena influences generation of oceanic circulation mainly sea waves and ocean currents so here we can see indian ocean so its equator move, equatorial direction is like this equator is close to the indian ocean whereas here so here this is equator but this is somewhat here tropic and here it is subtropics and polar region so here we can see lot of variation and here this is the equatorial region equatorial region if you see it is just 20 degree celsius whereas in the tropics you see it is a 20 25 degree celsius because in equatorial region heat loss is more whereas in the tropical subtropical region the temperature loss or heat loss is less so the ocean surface gives of heat to the atmosphere that's why heat is lost constantly in equatorial region that's why the temperature is less there the surface temperature is less than the tropics so this phenomena influences generation of oceanic circulation mainly sea waves and ocean currents so next one is fox the difference between the air and sea surface temperatures cause fox over the seas and oceans it occurs when the warm air passes through the cold sea Suppose warm air is uh, passing through the cold sea having the temperature below the dew point then the uh, dew point of the air at high latitudes these fogs occurs on the sea surface. Next one is vertical distribution. Vertical distribution is measured vertically from top to bottom of the ocean. Sun rays penetrate uh, very easily up to 200 meter depth but temperature decreases from the ocean surface with increasing depth. Up to 200 meter temperature falls rapidly, photic, so which is also called photic zone because this region receives solar radiation. Beyond 20, 200 meter to bottom, up to, from 200 meter to bottom, so the temperature falls slowly. It's called a photic, a photic zone and which, which doesn't receive solar radiation. Features of vertical distributions are fall in temperature with increasing depth is not uniform. About 2000 meter it is negligible because Murray's challenger expedition report from this report it was uh, identified that above 2000 meter the temperature drop is negligible the rate of decrease of temperature with increasing depth is more rapid in equator than the poles ocean bottom temperatures are uniform from equator towards the poles it is um, identified so the report of german antarctic expedition of 1911 so from this they identified that the ocean bottom temperatures are uniform from equator towards the poles diurnal range at range at a five phantom depth and annual range of temperature at 100 phantom ceases so the we cannot measure the diurnal range and annual range of temperature diurnal range can uh, can be uh, measured only up to five phantom depth and annual range of temperature can be measured up to 100 phantom depth beyond that it ceases at 100 meter depth at 7.3 degree north latitude temperature equaled at 40 degree north it was measured even at 800 meter depth at different latitudes because in the deep the temperature is constant whether it is measured in equator or in the poles at the depth so the temperature doesn't vary much 
but but on the surface the temperature varies much so that's what uh, was uh, discovered offshore winds upwelling of water from below so because of that what happens is the rate of falling temperature with increasing depth is low in the onshore winds uh, piling of water takes place because of the rate of falling temperature is rapid with increasing depth anomalous conditions also seen in enclosed seas in lower latitudes at depth more temperature is recorded example at the depth of 1800 meter in mediterranean sea temperature is 24.4 degrees celsius but at this depth in indian ocean it is just 1.1 degrees celsius such kind of anomalous conditions also is observed in the oceans of uh, enclosed seas and open seas in high latitudes in the same con- inversion of temperatures occur the temperature of sea surface is lower so it is a freezing point suppose in the polar region it is, it is in the freezing it is a uh, ices are formed in the polar region but at the surface temperatures are more uh, because here uh, the surface the temperature of sea surface is lower than the temperature below so here it will be freezing point it, it will be freezing point but here it is water still it is water here in this region so that kind of inversion of temperature also occur in the high latitudes vertical distribution so we know that temperature uh, temperature rather the rapid rate it loses temperature in the thermocline region thermocline region so this is a surface layer this is the thermocline layer second layer and the deep ocean here, here it is cold so temperature losses it's insignificant here in this deep ocean region thermal structure of ocean water also the same layer earlier we divided so up they are called surface layer upper layer thermocline layer and lower layer and the upper layer it is a top layer of warm ocean warm water mass with thickness of 500 meter average temperature range between 20 to 25 degrees celsius light ocean mass floats over the thick heavy mass so light ocean mass will float on the surface and under beneath that there will be thick ocean mass and the tropics whole year mid latitude only in summer develops thermocline layer so it's uh, from 300 meter to 1000 meter depth here rapid uh, at the rapid rate the temperature falls and this is also called as transitional zone and the lower layers beyond 1000 meter until bottom is a cold dense water 